Hey everyone, Sayos here. How is everyone doing today? So, for episode 7, I do very much apologize. This is going to be kind of a different intro than normally done. Reason being, um, well, when I went through and recorded all this footage, I kind of used up all my memory on my computer, and I will apologize if you hear the nephew here in the background. He's just playing. But, uh... I figured I'd take a couple minutes to talk about a couple of different points here real quick with everyone, and uh, then I'm going to show you some random clips that I was going through and just did kind of a series of updates as I was playing in the single player world, and this may actually be a two episode of length, so keep that in note everyone. Um, first, a thank you to everyone so far for supporting the channel. I very much appreciate it and love everything you guys are doing, you know, watching my videos, you all seem to be enjoying what I work on and what I do. It makes me feel great and glad to have every uh, 62 of you now, as when I last time checked my subscriber set. Um, projects that we're working on for this uh, video, as you can see, we, I have been running around a stronghold and kind of a mine cave entrance. I'm going to be, there's going to be a scene coming up soon with a little bit of music from Iron Doronin, and, uh, to play through is uh well I kind of decided to have an idea and it didn't work out too well so I think you guys might enjoy that but uh yeah we're go there's a lot of things coming up um I've, I normally want to keep things uh Minecraft related as I you know play Minecraft obviously but there's one that I wanted to bring up is the War Thunder stuff um I'm glad everyone's enjoying it. I am glad that I can do what I can do. But right now I'm waiting for an email from uh, the company because apparently I yeah, they don't. They, you have to get a blessing from them for your videos. So uh, until I get uh, a blessing from that company, I can't do any more of the War Thunder stuff with my buddies. So at least for now, we'll we'll see. Uh, a lot, a lot to, <laughs> a lot to get done. A lot, there's a lot to do. One of them, uh, Dead Linger, Damned. Uh, there's those games that I really want to play and do some videos for and showcase them while they're still in their alpha builds. They're really fun games. Look like they're worth definitely worth time. Dead Linger. It's mostly going to be kind of an <laughs> interesting video build when we create that because it is broken. It, it, the game's broken. It's still in very early alpha development. It's like in development ten. Sorry for drinking some water here. Like I said, this is kind of this is like a casual commentary opening, because you can just see the footage of me just derping around and seeing what there was around the cave systems and such. So I severely apologize again if, if you're hearing all these background noises, special things I've done in a while, but. Uh, yeah, I figured I want to I want to present to you guys more of a casual side for me. Um, as much as I want to be professional, that leaves me with very few opportunities to record. And with that being said, it makes it very hard to get the time set because when I've tried to the last two days when my brother had his days off, he tried to give me time to record, but Adobe didn't work to edit this footage, and it took me all day. Then Adobe went in. They quote unquote fixed my preview window, which broke. But when they did that, they disabled my graphics card, so I had to call them back, and that became a problem. And then I had an issue with EA as well with the Origin system, which took me a good seven or eight hours to get that worked on the day before. So uh, unfortunately, on my days off that I was trying to use to get a lot of videos done, it ended up becoming um, much more of a well, <laughs> as you can imagine, problem. So yeah. But hey, I figure if you guys are okay with at least hearing the nephew and having more of a casual side of commentary from time to time, I might be able to get some videos more said and done. But I definitely did, I was definitely able to record more footage. And like I said, there's going to be some tidbits coming up here in just a brief minute. So, anyway, thank you very much again, everyone. I hope you enjoy episode 7. This was just a lot of series of video cuts and recordings that I saved throughout the whole week of me playing my single player world and working hard. And uh, I'll show you the progress throughout. And if I can't squeeze all the clips in for this episode, it will spill into the next one. 
to the until you know I take over obviously and then you know bring everyone up to the final update and probably say goodbye on that one but hey we're getting ready for the dragon so oh and uh, last note we're on the snapshot uh, when I tried to record my snapshot which was supposed to be the introduction for this video and why I had to go with this uh, I guess you could say my fault. I never checked the audio levels going into Snapshot because of all the slider bars. I thought they were turned down enough, but it sounded like someone was, you know, beating a gun against the ground every time my character was walking anywhere in my world. So, anyway, everyone, have a good day. I will see you next time.
this. And Beesh. No. I'm just doing this out of cobble. So that way nothing hopefully hits the chest. Put that in there for now. Oh. And, okay, well. The main project. Nope. Well, that was weird. The main project that I want to do is I want to start TNTing the upper areas and start uh, exposing the roof and such and start getting rid of this whole roof in this area since there's a fortress. So I'm going to do a boys farm, and I'm also going to do uh, the, if you would so kindly state, wither farm, but that one will be done over time, because so it's going to be as I collect the TNT. And the Neverrack's going to have a home. So, I'm just trying to think how I should go about this. 94, man, I am near the roof already. Which the dangers of that is, that's where all the lava pockets are at. Batten on the uh, ground. Well, let's see. So they're really they're everywhere, but I like just to go through and get this done. Now I only have how long is this? Six minutes. Six minutes of basically emergency power. We're at 112. We need to go up to 116. Here we go. Now in theory, theory of a dead man, <laughs> famous last words, this should blow out the ceiling and here. So. Okay, so it doesn't hit the ceiling yet because we want to expose the bedrock, so we need to blow out higher. But as you can see, this did a lot of damage, so that's fine. Though we'll just keep digging up till we get basically near the bedrock, and then I think we can just blow out the rest of it. Uh, how high? Ah, oh, here we go. Perfect. There we go. It's more to the likings that I wish to see. So yeah, we're going to be TNTing the Never a bit today. You're all coming to live for the ride. Oop. Doing these one at a time just to make sure about in case of lava and such. Doop -a -doo. And as I keep getting more of this collected, I'll just, uh, the Neverack that is, I'll just go off camera, make some trips, put it away, come back. But if we keep exposing the Never, we'll just keep working on this. I really like the randomness that's in the bedrock, though. I really enjoy that. That, and it's going to help me uh, find a way to get above the never as well, because I want to do a regenerational beacon at some point. And get over here quickly. Stupid lava pocket. Get out of here, you're drunk. Go home. No one likes you. Go. Go home. Oh, man, dangerous as never. 
But this is why I leave one random hole when it creates the one hole. I don't fill it up and make everything completely smooth. Because it'll collect that one point, so at least I have one retreatable factor. Alright. Let's do this. Do this. Wait for that to go down in case I have to jump down for whatever reason to escape. Come on. Thank you. Playing with fire if you catch my drift. That was a horrible pun. I should be slapped for that. Let's see. Stupid lava. I told you you're drunk. Go home. Yeah, that lava actually showed up too. It's like it was dead. It was completely exposed, but it's like oh, I'm a source block. I'm just gonna, you know, like crap out everywhere. Hope you don't mind. Doop. Okay. Here, see what's going on here. Right to my hair. Some of you guys, how much never wreck we got. We're doing good at clearing out the never and eventually replacing the desert. This isn't really the best give back though, so we'll have to eventually. I'm gonna have to start just mining as soon as I can get that exp farm with a blaze going. So I'm gonna go ahead, guys, and I'm gonna keep working on this for a bit because I don't want to bore you guys with me blowing up my roof. <laughs> Oh wait, let's blow that up. I want to blow that up in front of the camera in case it like does something really derpy. That, well, I know what Sam would say if I didn't blow that up. Ah. TNT flying at my face. Okay. Well, hey, we'll get right back with you as soon as we get onto that blaze farm here. Ooh, piece of never. Update time. Alright guys. Got much done. Much done. Much done. In case you can't see, I'm wearing a new chest plate. Aha. Mostly because my set of armor is trash. Oh well. We could live and learn. Especially with all that TNTing that I have done. I will show you that progress when we get to the never. Real quick though. Press F1. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have done here for the house. The roof that I've got going on is inspired off of Zisto's build of the map room on the Minecraft server. Except I wanted to use a bigger set of a centralized log with two side ones, but I put the stone underneath with the wood on top, which I really am thoroughly enjoying. The front I've got kind of designed, these glowstone will be gone and taken care of. 
I will raise this up and adding some more detail where it will arch back this way I want it, I kind of want it to slope kind of like it like the house the thing was tilted essentially because it isn't you I'll I'll explain more when I get more work on that I replaced all the fences with glass which I really like a lot better we got some very nice lovely orcas from the 1.7 update I dipped into my books because I found those um, strongholds. I, not strongholds, but stronghold had two great libraries. So since I'm gonna go and raid all the books out of there, I figured I could treat myself to using the books I currently saved up all that lever for, and uh, pimp my pad, if you will. These are gonna go. Same thing with these. But there will be time and time again when everything's said and done. I am going to be moving out to the desert for my storage. So I have a bunch of cobble that I have saved up and never wreck. So after we go and head out here, because I've got almost all the equipment set and ready for the Blaze Farm, we will um, be building that today. And I will finish the video with when with a bit of a start and ending of that thing running with a demonstration of how well it is running at its current status. I do have to TNT though pretty much you know that entire never area because I wish to make that into a wither farm as well. So there will be a blaze farm and wither farm. We will work on that. We will persevere. We will make this happen. I do enjoy a lot of it. I will admit, I am playing currently at this second on Peaceful, because I had a backlog of witchy witch products that I have yet to clear out of my system and put them away in their designated chests, so that because of the witch drop rate I didn't want to flood and start causing entity lag. Which is funny how that can happen even with a brand new PC. I put my enchantment table here just temporarily. And I farmed a bunch of wood, so when I'm done, I'll just rip all this out and just reset the bookshelves with some wood and haul that out to the blaze farm. So, yeah. Oh, um, get made these for the witch farm. Hopefully, those will suffice. Um, I've got some weakness potions for some zombies. Fire resistance when I'm in the never. I need to make more swiftness potions. Swiftness 2 I've been dabbing into my emergency buttons. I've got some Neverack here. And a bunch of other random stuff I have collected. You know, where are these? There. I can be halfway fully equipped with butter units. Alright, guys. Tell you what, let me get all my supplies finished and get ready. And I will see you in the Never very shortly. Good morning and update time. And when I last recorded was at the end of my evening, and as you may or may not know, well, most likely you guys wouldn't know. See what I mean when I don't, my coffee hasn't taken effect yet. Um, we are, I did some off camera stuff because I was unable to record as I was working on the farm. Now, I only got a few things done because I spent basically most of my night working on the structure. Now this is the top of the farm right here and gone down here and I've made the blaze farm and right now I'm on peaceful because I wanted to just it's the morning I wanted to have you know not all the noisy neighbors around me quite yet plus I want to show you guys you know the inside of this and then we're gonna fire it up so you can always see that it works. I went through a lot of designs on YouTube and I saw the one mumbo jumbo did which was an extended outer casing for the front and then it funnels in and I'm only going to put pistons on that row all the way down because they fall straight perfect into this area and then that's when they start screwing up these ledges they may catch on but the one I was watching was mumbo jumbo and he says they'll wiggle off and then when they start hitting the pistons the pistons will take care of them so so yeah, let's see here, and I, sorry, coffee, like I said, hasn't kicked in. I got an army of pistons, 
Mostly a lot of the leftovers I had for the witch farm because I couldn't remember how much I needed. Uh, materials, building blocks, I made these. Light gray stained clay. This took me a good chunk of my night actually to collect the clay. That was like the biggest task. Uh, never rack. Oh, that's just my dump in chest. Now, let's go ahead. I'll hop up here. Right here. Well, I better start right there so you guys can see it. Now, let's go ahead. Turn on normal. And they fall past that line. But that's run couple pistons for pistons regardless, so if we come down over here. Yeah. Oh, bugger. Let's put you there. I don't need visitors today. I don't have enough of them. Uh some progress. Oh. Sorry. That was weird hiccup. Thanks, Java. Did some TNT blasting around here. Just a wee bit. I'm hoping for a gas, honestly, to spawn in here and try to hit these TNT. Cause a chain reaction for me, so I don't want to go up there and go do that myself. Now, while well, these blazes just chill like villains, but see, since they detected me, they're gonna flow. But if they didn't detect me, they just fall perfectly. Is the only thing I don't like about blazes. Actually, I need to cover that in the event of gas. I don't need them breaching my area. See, now all the neighbors are out. It's it's good morning, never place. No, right, right, meh. This is the pole I put in. It spreads actually about over in there, all the way along its roof. And then it came down. Now, I still got a lot of work to do in all this. I've got to blow out so much of this never. It's not even funny. I'm actually thinking because I got myself an efficiency four, I'm breaking free from level 30 from all nice lovely quartz through here. I'm going to start uh, strip mining with a fire resistance potion after I finish building this blaze farm and uh, begin strategically placing TNT and causing a chain reaction like nothing else I've ever seen. So, I'm going to let you guys be for a moment and we'll come up back with one more update after I get all this installed in because I just well I just want to get this done and I know that those guys are going to be buggers enough when I have to install all the pistons not to mention gas now are awake again among every other neighbor that wants to you know, murder you come on guys come here I'm over here I'm glad they have horrible tracking by the way otherwise I'd probably be a dead goose Maybe that's something to make them more evil. Give them pathfinding like the zombies have. Her her. Hmm. Maybe I should not have mentioned that in the event of someone mentions as the dinner bone. <sighs> anyway. Tell you what, guys. I'll get the pistons installed and get all that. I'll come back with another update once that is finished. Hello. Hi. How are you? Yes, I see you. Your mother is a gerbil. Oh my god. The army boy says, I'm gonna have to leave and come back just to freaking work on the inside of that dang machine, but at least I can get the outside work done. I'm lucky. Anyway, guys, I will let you go while I get to work. <laughs>